Okay, I've got to show you this also because this was um, toilets that we have used in the past. They're just uh, basic pit latrines, um, but uh, they're mostly not being used now. Occasionally, you know in Africa, you just never know. Occasionally they're used. I just wanted to point this out because there was an unnamed member of a volunteer team who came here and uh, dropped a speed square down into the bottom of that pit latrine. They will, of course, remain unnamed, mostly because they'll never watch this because they're not very Internet savvy. We're walking out over here to see where Debbie is going to stay. Um, Debbie is coming as a long-term volunteer for the orphanage, and uh, she told us that if she lives in Africa, she must live in a hut. And so she came last June, I believe it was, and was here and picked out a spot for her to have a little hut. And I wanted to show you this, Debbie, so you could see it because Darby is incredibly jealous of your location here. I'm standing right in the middle of Debbie's hut right now. This is a view probably from the front door. You may be able to see in the distance the uh, kitchen dining roof. But if you turn this way and that way and this way and all the way around, nothing but wilderness of Africa. I mean, you expect at any moment for a lion to come jumping out of that grass and maul you. But there's no lions in this area. So that's good. But Debbie, I just wanted to show you your house um, and so you can kind of see where it is. Just today, we marked out a circle of where it's going to be. I don't know, you probably can't see the circle. There's a stick right in the middle, um, but you probably can't see exactly how big your hut is or everything, but uh, it's there. We're looking forward to all of the volunteers who are coming to stay out at uh, New Day Orphanage and all the work that's going to get done. Um, Darby was telling me just the other day, she said, if it wasn't for the American volunteers who are going to come over here and give of their time, I don't think we could do it. There's just so much of a job to do here, so much of a need in ministry um, that we just can't simply do it on our own. And so we're excited about that. Um, can't wait for you guys to get here. I think January is whenever um, all of our long-term volunteers are showing up and uh, starting next month. We'll start having short-term volunteers coming for the summer. We're pumped about that. Just kind of wanted to give you guys an update about what, what's going on out here and what things look like and uh, what you can expect whenever you come. See you soon. Bye. See, it didn't turn off whenever I tried to turn this off. Hold on.